In the last lesson, we completed the login page. So let's make the same with the register. So under public admin and assets directory, find register.html. And this time we are going to copy this container only. and paste it inside the register view. Under the section content. But first we need to comment this old code. And change the layout to out. Great. Now we need to add some logic from the commented code into this one. The old function is very useful because let's say that the password confirmation is wrong and it will return an error, but it will keep all the other fields the same if we use the old function. Great, now let's check if it works. As you can see, we are getting the error that password confirmation doesn't match.
and as you can see the email is still here we can do the same with the name if we set the value to be equals to old name so let's refresh and this time we should get the error that email is already in use but we are not because we forgot to enter this block of code for the email now if we refresh if we do it again the error is now appearing so let's use email john1 And as you can see, the register page is now functional as well.